So then my friends, we're at the point now where we know about how to make pages and use CSS in our components. The next step is to maybe bring in some dynamic data. Now this could be from an API endpoint, a database or a headless CMS like Contentful or some other source like the file system. It doesn't really matter what source we get our data from or how many different sources we use. Gatsby can bring them all together and normalize them into one GraphQL layer they call the content mesh. So you can use data from Mongo or from WordPress or from Shopify or from Contentful or from the file system and Gatsby brings it all together under one GraphQL layer and it does this by using source plugins for each data source that we use. Then instead of querying those individual data sources directly themselves, we can just query our one single GraphQL layer for all the data that's brought together. So for those of you not familiar with what GraphQL is, it's a query language. It's a way to query data from the front end. It's kind of like an alternative to querying a RESTful API with different endpoints. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to make these queries in a minute. But for those who want to dive deeper, I've got a whole playlist about GraphQL on this channel. And the link to that is going to be down below. But in a nutshell, GraphQL is a very simple but very powerful query language that comprises of two main parts, a GraphQL API and a GraphQL query. So the GraphQL API is made using schemas for different data sources or data types in our application. And it serves up data based on the queries that we make. Now Gatsby handles all of this side for us. It creates this GraphQL API layer based on whatever data sources we tell it to use using plugins. And we'll see that later. So it centralizes all of our data sources into a single GraphQL API. And all we have to then do is make GraphQL queries to access that data. For example, imagine we had a couple of different data sources for our application. We could have local markdown files with project content in them, and we could also use Contentful, a headless CMS, for blog post content. So first of all, we'd add source plugins for both of these sources, the file system and Contentful. Gatsby would then add those data sources to the GraphQL API by making schemas for them. And that's what these things are right here. All files to get all the files and all Contentful posts to get all the posts from Contentful. So in Gatsby terminology, it adds them to the content mesh. And then we could make queries to that API to get any of that data from either or both sources. So that's what Gatsby does for us in terms of making a GraphQL API. But how do we then make queries to get that data? Well, GraphQL queries are actually very simple to construct. First, imagine we have a GraphQL API with these two schemas right here, all file and all contentful posts. So if we wanted to get all the blog posts, for example, we'd start by saying in our query, all contentful posts, which is the schema like this. And then we open up our curly braces. And then inside those curly braces, we declare what properties we want from the blog posts. So say each one has a title, body, categories, and slug. You can specify all of those properties inside the curly braces. And this query would retrieve all of those posts for us and give us all of these properties for each one. Now, if we only wanted certain properties, for example, just the title, then we just say we want the title and that would only retrieve the data that we need, the title for each blog post. So we can query as little or as many properties from our data types as we want. Now, another thing that Gatsby also gives us access to is a tool called Graphical, which is kind of like a playground area for messing around with GraphQL queries. And it's going to allow us to query the GraphQL API layer made by Gatsby to interact with our data. So when we run Gatsby develop down here in the terminal, it gives us access to two addresses. This one right here is to preview the website in the browser. And this one down here is to open up graphical. So if I control click that, it's going to open this up in a browser. And it looks a bit complex to begin with. But basically, there's three areas. We have the Explorer over here. And this at the minute is kind of like the base GraphQL layer that we can interact with in our Gatsby project. So all of these different schemas we can use. This in the middle, this is where we can construct a test query. And we'll see that in a second. We can also play that query. And when we play it, we get the result preview over here on the right. 
So we can toggle this on the left using this code explorer. Oops, if we click off that, not the code exporter, sorry, this explorer, then we can open it using that. The code exporter, we might see that later on. Once we've created queries, we can click on this to see how we'd use that in our components. And what I'm going to do is just a test query using one of these things right here. So these come out of the box. They're all included when we first create a Gatsby website. And to be honest, we're not going to need most of them. We're never going to use them. But I still want to use this to show you how this works and to see what a GraphQL query looks like. So, for example, I could go to site down here and I could go to host and I could go to port and what I'm doing is saying, okay, I want information about the site and the information I want is the host and the port. So if I click on play over here, we're going to get back this JSON data, which has a data property first, then a site property, then the host, which is localhost and the port of our website, which is a thousand at the minute. Okay. Now, like I said, most of this we're not going to use, but we will be using graphical from time to time to construct our queries and test them. So I wanted to show you this now because next up, I'm going to show you how we can create some metadata and that's going to be added to our GraphQL layer. Then we can query that from our site pages.